Hey there, Slavis here, with Negravarius. We are playing Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. Yes, we are. I'm playing, I'm using the controller right now. Yes. Um, Necro played in the last episode, and he did quite well for his first time playing this game. Is it notoriously difficult like this? Yes. Oh, you did that, didn't you? So b between episodes, Slavis is like, hey, I'm gonna go farm some secrets. And I'm like, that's fine, because I never would have found them. Oh, look, it's a jar of honey. 50 um, experience. It's oh, really? A, it's a pee bag. A pee bag? Pee bag. It's like, got the letter P on it. Is it like a PP up, but different? Yeah. It just has one P? Yeah. It's what like was the thing from Mario that had a P on it? P. Pow block? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, pow blocks. Yeah. Is this a different dungeon now? No, this is just a cave. Thanks for getting the candle, by the way. You're welcome. Oh, the candle always on? Yep. So do we now have the switch things on here? What do you mean? Oh, so like remember back like on um like Link's Awakening, Minish Cap, you had inventories that you had to switch between. So like if you needed to jump, you had the rock's feather. If you needed to do this, you had the hook shot. Is that not on this game? Um, there's no item switching, but Okay, but there's spells. Just spell switching. Look at you. What now is we that? have five magic blocks. Oh. Okay, so you not only do you get second or your blocks become worth more but you also get extra blocks correct i'm guessing a total of eight by the size of it i think so yeah okay also notice how there's two enemies on the overworld there's three but okay i mean like two enemy types yeah there's the big bulky guys and then the slimes, and then the slimes yeah the slime ones are easier enemies okay so if you have to go for it go for the slimes yeah so can you does your shield up even when you're attacking uh, yes. Okay, that's something I'm also not used to. Um, do you want to save it up for attack? Yeah, let's do that. Wow, you just had to get that. that that's one of my biggest issues with this game. Wait, was I not in the first dungeon? No, you were. Oh, okay. I'm just doing some cave stuff for now. We can do this because we have the... It reminds me of your uh, stone keep playthrough. Th play playthrough? Playthrough? When you're like, oh, by the way, this is the most powerful game or weapon in the game. I'm not going to take it, but it's here. Yeah. That was fun. I, I got a bunch it. of comments on that series, and people were like, I wish you would have shown people where the strong dagger was. And I was like, I did. Yeah, it was in the first episode. I just episode. don't want to use it. It was in the first episode, was it not? Yeah. Is that a life container? What is that? Uh, It's a trophy. Oh, I didn't know there's trophies in this game. Watch out behind you. Ooh, nice. I just realized I'm watching this on the OBS screen instead of on the big screen. Oh, Because <laughs> I'm struggling to see it. Oh, no. What? If he goes left, I'm dead. Can't you hit him midair? Oh, sweet. Uh-oh. Nice. And you're two, you're two XP away from leveling up. Boom. There you go. Ooh, and you get oh, a platform. Oh, he gave me mana instead. Well, that's okay. Hurt magic. If you get a slime, you can level up. Yep. Nice. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. No, you'll be fine. Good luck, I told you. I need... Can you go back in that secret ooh, and do it? Ooh, 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 fairy. Fairy, fairy, please. Fairy. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so you were gonna ask me a question this episode. Oh, yeah. What are your initial thoughts? Oh, boy. Initial thoughts on the game. Um, it's very interesting, and I like it so far. It's very different from what I was expecting. I was expecting the same as the first game. I like the side-scrolling aspect of it. it it's This is going to sound dumb, but it's the only thing I can really put it to it. It's, I had an itch for Castlevania style. We talked about this earlier in the day. Yeah. And I got that itch with this. Or I got, I got it scratched by this. Nice. So I'm very happy with the choice that you made today. Sweet. Yeah. I wasn't we were sure if it'd be the right one, because we just got done playing the first Zelda game. I mean... Like four months yeah, ago. Yeah, but I mean, like, the first video hasn't even come out on my channel yet. Tomorrow, actually. Spoiler alert. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, our I mean, time. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. You keep saying that. You don't die. Remember, didn't you kill that dragon in Dark Souls all by yourself, Bones? Yeah, a couple times. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. That made me sad. Sorry. That's okay. It's not your fault. I mean, it is your fault, but whatever. Yeah, totally. Please don't kill me. Is it is it just the sand that sucks? 
I don't like the sand. Because of all the flying particulates? It get it's... Oh, what is this place? It's itchy. What are those bubbles? Irritating and it gets everywhere. Oh my god, Anakin, shut up, stop being such a little bitch. I, I'm pretty sure I got the quote wrong. Those bubbles hurt to do damage. Oh. Um, you're pretty close on that quote, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I got... As long if as you not, get the end just, of it. If not, you'll just edit in the clip right here. I don't like the sand. It get it's it's itchy, irritating, and it gets everywhere. Oh, I totally real, could. You could. Oh hey. Ow. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Jackass. Look like at this. this. Yeah, why don't you do victory pose? <laughs> yeah, then let me hit you. <laughs> That's there. awesome. Now we got some basic stuff. And... Okay. That was, I never would have gotten those. Yeah. There, obviously. There's a couple random stuff like that. Yeah. There's some stuff in. I think it's Death Mountain. That sounds like a pre-Zelda-esque level, yeah? Yeah. For whatever reason, the side-scrolling as well, I, I played a little bit of Blasphemy when it first came out. Oh, yeah. That's um, like a Dark Souls-type game, right? Yeah. That'd be uh, something we could look at maybe in the future as well. Oh. I don't think you've ever played it. No. I've seen a little bit. It's fun. Um, very dark. Oh. But not Souls. Um, anyways, it, the side-scrolling as well, man, is unforgiving much like it. That was dumb, by the way. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that get past. You laughed, though. Yeah, I did, because of how dumb it was. Look how fat you are, though. Just the, the... Oh, never mind, you're not fat. It doesn't go right down. Wow. See, so look how fat you are. So the elevator just goes down as soon as you step on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. You're going for the speed run. Well, they don't give anything. They just take your experience away. Ow, like that. I took my experience. That's okay. You're not going too far with this. No. You're only at 20 out of 150. Yeah, exactly. Um, is there anything you want to level up after this? You wanted to keep doing attack and save up for the next attack level? Um. Which I think is 300. We might want to do life. Um, we do have five of life now. But yes. I mean, in the... Uh, yeah, no, you don't need to go down. Candles that way. We already yeah. got it. Um, we could do life, but at the same time, if we had more attack, it would take less to kill those big guys. Farming would take less as well. Oh, we here, could farm. Here's a here's a. We went. Strategy. Did we go? Did we go up? Or, yeah, we did. Okay, go on. Uh, strategy that I use is if I need to attack down, I do a little slide. See, I tried doing that, and then I just ran into them mm. every time. <laughs> every time. <Yeah. laughs> All right, I'm going to show you my cheap tactic for fighting these guys. Okay, because they suck. That's kind of what I was doing. They're not that... It's like they, they're they programmed to say F you. Oh, you, you hit him with a shield up. Yeah, I hit him in the top of the head. Okay, so that is a hitbox. Yeah. Oh, it has 500. Yeah. I should. think life is better, yeah. Life yeah. will give us more. For sure. Profit. Now we're at 12. We're still in the first palace, Flavus. Yeah. I think in the first episode of the first <laughs> series we did, we were already on level 2 by the time we did the first yeah. episode. That was a 200. Oh, nice. A spicy pea bag in there. So, these guys I found out, you can actually just, if you, if you walk away and you run towards them right before as they're just starting to throw them, you make it underneath the first one without ever taking damage. Yeah, they also have a gap in there. Growing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Why would so, you do that? I just wanted to illustrate that. Oh, okay. Yes. No. I did notice the gap in their throwing pattern. Nice. Ah. Oh, don't are tell me. Eight away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at you go. Nice. Um. Uh, how much do we need magic? First off. No. I think we should save up for I more life. Uh, are you life or attack? I'm going kind of glass cannon here, so uh, maybe... Depends on... I don't oh, know the game as well. What is that? So that's a boss room. How do you get up there? Oh, I, I see. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously thought you had to go through the curtains to get there. This is a mini boss, or is this the boss boss? This is the boss of this palace. Can we do I it? I don't remember. I don't think there's anywhere else we can go. No, but... There was, there was the way up, was there not? Uh, that one elevator where you could go up, was there anything else up there? E each palace has a... A boss and an item. We got the item. We just got the boss left. Okay, let's do it then. If you're okay with that. Yeah. I mean, um, I, have, I have full faith in you. I, I'm trying to min-max here, so but probably shouldn't worry about it too much. Why yeah. is... Horsehead guy. Okay. 
He has a katana? No, he has a mace. Oh, he's got armor. I oh, know. Well, it's just like, it's just like what you've been doing this entire time. Oh, he hurts. Wow, what's his problem? He does damage. Oh, I see you again really specifically. Yeah. You're fine. Four more hits, three more hits, two. Mm. You're, oh, you're not gonna hold that out any longer? <laughs> One. No. There you go. See, look. Why were, why were you doubting? Oh god, epilepsy. Ah, damn it. Oh, he was okay. the boss. He no, he is the boss. I'm... I'm gonna go back real quick. To where? To kill some slimes. Okay, that works. Because... We need to level up, and that'll give us a level of attack or a life, I can't remember. Uh, whatever we have access to. Because when you finish a palace, yeah. and you turn in the crystal, you gain a full level's worth of experience. Oh yeah, so that makes more sense. Yeah. Watch me run into a rat guy next. Uh, technically yes. I think if you go all the way up, though, I think wasn't there a, uh, a slime? Was there a slimer statue guy or a thrower? I don't know its names. Oh. Mm, wasn't there a? There's a slime over here in this next room. Yeah. Great. Oh, I see what you're doing. That's not annoying at all, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess. So, oh, sweet. Thanks. That saves me from killing one. So, life or magic? What do you think? We're not using that much magic right now. I'd say go life. Let's give the uh, little bit of, you know, safety net. Yeah, good call. And then we'll use... Oh, it'll give us 300 experience when we uh, finish the, the dungeon yep. as well. And that'll give us the magic yep. level. Nice. Or we can save... Nice. How much lives do we have? We have two lives left. Yeah. So let me ask this question. Yeah. What have you been doing since the uh, last recording? So we did Silent Hill first. Yep. And we did Legend of Zelda the first game. Mm -hmm. And we did a little bit of Sly Cooper, which I don't know if that's... I don't think that's ever going to go anywhere. That was more just for fun. Yeah. Um, and now we're playing this. So since then, what have you been up to? I have um, recorded shifters. Shameless plug. Go for it. <laughs> uh, well, this is going to be my, on my channel anyways, but... Yeah. Yeah, so check out Shifters if you're if you're familiar with Warriors of Might and Magic. Completely forgot about that key wall. Ready for some epilepsy? Just kidding, I'll cut it out. Oh, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Now I could so leave the that? dungeon before leveling up, I think. What is that thing? No, no, you cannot. Boom. So is that just a shrine? Yeah. It's it a really big no. So it's a Squidward house. Actually, it looks like a dick. Oh. Good job. So now we have five crystals. We got five more palaces before the Great Palace. Nice. And now that palace is a rock. Oh, so it's crumbled? Yep. Nice. And it only crumbles if you've killed the boss and got the item. Very nice. You're really good at this game. I know. <laughs> I say that and immediately eat my words. But now we go to town two? Yep. Are there shops in these towns that you can buy stuff at? Like, air? No. Negative. There are no shops. Yeah. Give me one second, I'm gonna shake this real quick. Yeah. Cut that out. You cut that out. I mean, it will. Or I'll leave it in. Because now there's a lot of empty space in this audio. There is, probably. I have a, um... A shaker here. I've been going to the gym a lot more. Well, let me first, ever since COVID we haven't, but we're getting back into it, so I'm taking an amino acid that also has caffeine in it. Kind of like, it's not like G, well, it's kind of like G Fuel minus the G Fuel part of it. Minus the brand. <laughs> yeah, minus the brand. It's called Ghost. Um, so it's got a little bit of energy in it, and then it's got stuff for muscles and whatnot. Proteins and such. What are you doing? I think there's a secret in here. You think? I'm pretty sure. Mm. Oh, nice. Mine. You can't have it. Yeah. Ooh, fairy. Or not. 
course. <laughs> you could have had that fairy so many times. I know, but I just didn't want it. That's it was fine. so free. Yeah, it's different that they have these things, but I think it breaks it up a little bit, and I kind of like it. Yeah? It reminds me of Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Tall grass. Yeah, tall grass. In fact, I was playing Pokemon Red. Well, the, the Game Boy Advance version on the airplane when I went to Washington last. Like Fire Red? Uh, no. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, Fire Red. Okay. Um, I just got to the point where the old man teaches you how to catch Pokemon. Yeah. And then I immediately caught a Weedle. Nice. I don't remember what I named him. There's probably no secret in here. I'm just wasting my time. Probably. This is just useless footage. What did oh. you, uh, what did you name your Weedle? Oh, crap. What did I name it? Uh, oh, Wormy. I named it Wormy. Weedly? Which I should have named the Caterpie I got Wormy instead, because that actually turns into a butterfly, which is congruent with the story of Wormy. Wow. You have to go that way? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, he gives 10 experience. There's no secret here. Well, I'm glad that you got that. I, I just farmed a bit. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. All right, now to the town of... Which one is this? Ro Ratu? Ruto. Ruto. Ten. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. Ruto. Nah. Nah, Ruto. Hello. Get it? No. Yeah. No, no, I get it. Yeah. I got you. Let's go find the secret. Not here. I need life, so I can do this. That works. Sorry, people's house is on fire with a magical sword. Yeah. So is it apparent where the old lady is, or the old person is in town? Uh, kind of. You saved the trophy. Come see my uncle. Oh, hey. That was the trophy in that lava cave in the north of the desert. Oh, okay. Wait, north of the desert? The north. Oh, the first one that we went to? Yeah. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Don't kill him. With this, you can jump very high. Oh, Guess oh. what the spell's called? Jump. <laughs> nice. Oh, that doesn't use that much magic. No. It costs 32. 32. So that's four less than what shield costed when it started, I think. It was 36, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, wait. Was it 36? No. Sh yeah, shield's cheaper now, too. Oh, yeah, okay, so it doesn't make your magic blocks worth more. It, it makes, makes your, your spells sp cheaper. Yeah. Okay, it makes it... No, shield was 32, I think, when it started out. Yeah. Because it was, I think, a full... Use keys in palaces. Yeah, found, found it. it. Cool. Thanks. You know what this reminds me of? What? A clock tower. Where it's like they always ended up the... No. Do not go south without a handle. Yeah. I do want to play that game still. I wouldn't mind that, like, now that I know kind of what it's about. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. What was the other game I was looking at? Um, oh, Alone in the Dark. One of the first ones. Oh. That, yeah, it's pretty old, isn't it? That's retro. Yeah, although the graphics are 3D polygons. I mean, they're decent compared to, like, well, this is 2D. Which, no, there's nothing wrong with this game. Look at that dodge. You see that? Boom. What? <laughs> MLG Pro. I mean, I'm I'm pretty familiar with the game. I'm, yeah. I'm good at the control stuff. Just hey. reali I just realized that that bottle closing is going to pick up on both of our mics. That's all right. That's going to suck. That's really it's not loud. like I was talking during that. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. So this is a transition zone, or is it, did you get hit by a monster? I wasn't paying attention. It's trans. It's a cave. Oh god, it's a cave. Oh, I can imagine going through this without a candle. That would suck. Oh god, it's a demon. Gargoyle, I think. Oh god. Hey, we fought those before. Yeah. In Dark Souls, we fought like four of them once. Oh no. <laughs> so then, when you go into your star, how do you select your jump? Oh, I see. Okay, up and down. Okay. Hooray! And that's still selected at this point, so you could you could technically cast it again. Nope. It deselects it after you cast oh, it. Oh, that's good. You don't accidentally select it to or cast it twice. That's really good. Hey, you don't eh. need that yet. Look at that swamp. That's a swamp? That's a swamp. Oh god, that was blue. Now we're in the second area, so it's like enemies are different. Ow. Ow! Did that magic? Hooray. Whatever that was. It was magic. Yeah. There's blue and red bottles. Blue heal less. Okay. Uh, you're fucked. 
Oh, that sucks. Chunk -a -chunk -a -chunk. That sucks hard. Actually, it's not that bad. No, but it's it's a noticeable. Is that the slow. cave up there? Is that the next dungeon? No. Can we get into that cave even? Uh, not right now. We need the hammer. Yes, which we get on death. Why didn't you want that? Uh, oh bomb? yeah, I should have grabbed that, shouldn't I? Wow. That's okay. This is one of the worst areas to actually die in. Because it takes forever to get back to? Yeah. There was a cemetery. I think every... No, I did that back. Yeah, right there. The, um... <clears throat> every Zelda game I've ever played has a cemetery in it, except for one. What? Which one is that? Uh, Legend of Zelda, the first game we played never had a cemetery. Yeah, it did. Where was that? The old man that gave us the Master Sword was in a grave. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about cemetery. Like, every Game Boy Edition had a cemetery you had to go to at one point. You had to move gravestones. Yeah. To go to a... It was in the first game. Oh. Like, six... It was a long time since we played that game, okay? I know. Okay, I'll, I'll be I'll honest. I will be honest. I wasn't too much into that game at one point. Because I was like, I don't know where anything is. We didn't have the, the map. We didn't have anything. I was... I was going off by everything of you, and that game was hard. Yeah. It was unforgiving. This this game gets a <clears throat> bit worse. I don't doubt that, but at least it's side-scrolling, so there's only two directions you can get effed from. Yeah, and you can go diagonally, which is amazing. Right? Oh, yes. I forgot about that. Big PB. <laughs> <laughs> we almost have another attack. We I do. Attack? I don't know. It might uh, be attack. Yeah, eight, 800 was life. So does that reset, or does that number just keep going up? It keeps going up until it's maxed. And then I think it maxes out at, like, 9,000. Holy crap. Are you planning on min-maxing this stuff? No, no. Okay, good. I just know where some stuff is to make it a little bit easier for that. I got nothing wrong with that. Like, these guys are great for farming. Oh, yeah, it's like ticks or whatever they are. Octoroks. Oh, they look different for Octoroks. Watch when he jumps up. Oh, I see it now, yeah. I was expecting to see the little mouth. Get, get that. I don't need it. But so? The man who collects one of everything doesn't need something? Well, I can't carry it. I have no inventory. Uh, well, I, I do have an inventory. Damn. Barn spider. Blue barn spider. Oh, God. Oh, he's gonna screw you up. He just found his wife in bed with another moblin. Nice. He's mad. Come Spear McGee. Oh, come on. <laughs> that would have been a level up. It would have been a level that up. That would have been the episode. Would it? Yeah. And we still have to get in a way to get to the next dungeon. Oh, shit. Yes. Eh. <laughs> oh, the next dungeon. I didn't Or palace. Excuse me. I didn't even think of that. I don't even know where that is. I do. Good. <laughs> that was like my exile playthrough that I had. By the way, shout out. Shameless plug. Check out my channel if you like Mist. We're doing the Year of Mist still. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, we, I just beat Exile not that long ago. Um, and now I'm working on a lore explanation for each game, including one of the books right now is what I'm work working on. And then... Oh, cool, your bridge doesn't collapse, but you have Death Fish. <laughs> um, what else were we doing? We just did a... I did a live stream of... Steam did a game showcase for a bunch of creators and their demos. And so I went through and played Slender Threads, which was a really cool uh, point-and-click adventure game. And it's got a really cool story so far, so I'm super happy with that. Nice. It was fun, yeah. So check that out, definitely. Yeah, I saw the uh, theme demo thing. I just never got around to looking at any of that stuff. It was uh, There was one game on there. I lost my mirror. Oh, I bet you that's a thing we could do. Do you want to know how easy this quest is? I bet you it's in somewhere else. It's in another house. Oh, nice. Um, there was one... Wow. There was one game... Sorry, I'm, I'm getting distracted by this game. There was one game that was a XCOM-style dungeon crawler. So, you start out with a group of heroes. No, let me rephrase that. It was more of a Divinity 2. Okay. But it was really cartoony characters and stuff. Hmm. And do you remember the Bard's Tale? Vaguely, yeah. So you remember how like the narrative was really funny and like the banter was funny like that? It's like that as well. Like 
Um, the elf is super ditzy. The thief is a scaredy cat. Okay. And then everybody hits the dwarf. And the dwarf is just a drunk Irish dude. It's hilarious. Wait. It's it was called the Dungeon of Narrenbrook or something like that. Okay, that sounded familiar. I just never you you would like that game. Mm. So your overworld is fine. Your you know you have your party with you, and then once you get into combat with somebody, there's many different tactics you can use. Okay, there's a bunch of different weapons you can collect, and it changes everything as far as the um um aesthetic look of them. Um, I think at one point I picked up a what is that doing in here? Sleeping. Okay. There was a um. What was it? I picked up a pair of boots at the end of combat during the demo, and it was like, you picked up a pair of lame-ass boots, and that's what they're called. <laughs> it's like that. You would really enjoy it. It was fun, and it was really story-driven. So uh, That video hasn't come out as of the time of this recording, but it was such a good game. Hmm. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, there was another... There was a Tears game that came out. There was, like, something of Tears... I thought that had to come... I think that was the same developer as your Trails games. Yeah. I thought. I'll look it up. Tears of Avia? That was the same thing. It was like a... You know, you go around the overworld, and then when you get in fights, it's tactics like Divinity. Mm. But it's a JRPG style, so everything's like 3,000 damage and a bunch of animations and skimpy girls in costumes. That sounds like Iskaya? Could be. Was it like... Super cartoony and like people had bat wings and stuff. No, it was oh. no, it was more the elf stuff. Okay. It was it was anime style though. <laughs> Definitely anime style. I mean, it was fun. I, I'm not much for the JRPGs just because of the the numbers seem like they don't mean much. Right. Um, and the demo started you are like level 25 in one of the towns trying to find one of the tiers. Actually, I don't know if it was a tear or a tear. Maybe I should figure that out. Anyways, uh, it was good. It was fun. Sounds interesting. Yeah, it was a very short demo, though. And I'm pretty sure everybody in my party died. Mm. But yeah, that one, uh, the dungeon game I was talking about has, like, backstab. It plays almost like a D&D game at that point. So it's, you gotta, like, watch your watch your flanks. Um, people are in Overwatch, things like that. It was really fun. I keep saying that. I'm gonna shut up about that game. Slender Threads was my by far my favorite. <laughs> There's a new tavern game that came out on demo too. So I remember like your um fantasy shop game? Where shop, you shopkeeper simulator? Or, uh, kind of no, it's called Fantasy Shop, I thought. Like, yeah, yeah. It was like that, but you, you get like weapons and stuff and it was but it was like a bar setting. Oh. You get people come in. It, I, I haven't had a time to play it, but that looked pretty fun too. Yeah. Yeah. This place does suck. Yeah. It's... There's so much to get to the second palace. Yeah. The second palace is, is through this swamp. Okay. I kind of figured. Look at these tiny chunks of roads. But oh, is that what they are? Super helpful. I thought you said you were safe on the road. Yeah. So they can still touch you and then you just walk off to the sun? Yeah. Could you still fight on the road? No. Oh. He comes alive. Oh, he gives me magic, which I don't need. That's health. Oh, that, it was red, though. Yeah, it's always magic. Oh, really? Even though it's red? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, here we are. Dungeon 2. Dungeon 2. This is gonna suck if we die, because you know who's playing next. Me. We got two lives. Did and you see how fast I burned through three lives the first, the yeah, first episode? Yeah, that, that was pretty... That was something. Yeah, I was, I was going big or going home. I don't remember the layout of this one at all. We'll figure it out. But I think that's something we need to figure out in the next episode. Yep. This is just a teaser oh, for the next episode. Oh, look, look at you. So now you know. YouTube tactics. We're, yeah. Now we're doing Dungeon 2 in the next episode. So we're going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. And I guess we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You like how I took your bye-bye? Yeah, you're a dick. You should have did see ya.